Hi everybody, it's me, Shelly. I'm going to be showing you guys how to draw Typhlosion. Well, I, we already drew the picture of Typhlosion, so we're just going to show you guys how to draw Typhlosion. Oh, forget it. Oops, hold on, let me just move this. This is the drawing that we did. Alright, what do you think of this compared to this one? Yeah, we didn't have the exact colors of our markers, so couldn't really get it to exact proportions. But, whatever. We don't really feel like looking back at the reference picture, so this time we're just going to trace it. Just to show you guys. Okay then, let's get started. We're just going to be doing this in Sharpie since we're tracing it, so there's no need to do it in pencil. Now, bear in mind, it's not going to probably come out exact. Our last one we didn't trace, so this one might look a little better, but yet again, it might not. So anyway, let's just start. Even though we're tracing them, I'm still going to walk through the steps. We're going to be starting off from his face right here. With his nose. Come around, draw a line through his ear, then draw his ear. Don't stop and draw the flames. Keep drawing until you get to the end of his flames. Then draw the little tips. Now we can draw the flames. Although you don't want to draw the lines of the flames. See right here where they separate? That you can save for when you color it in. Just gonna make it a little bigger since we're using Sharpie. Draw the line separate to skin. Now let's go into his body. Draw his claws. second guy guys. All right. Just making sure the camera's in position. Just going on to draw his arm. Typhlosion. We're not just gonna stop there. Oh, oops. We are forgetting something. We are forgetting his ear. Although it's going to be difficult to draw, seeing that it's really dark and not easy to see through the paper. Yeah, that's okay, I guess. Okay. Next part of the video, 
we'll be showing you how to color Typhlosion. Uh, so, uh, yeah. See you guys now. You know what? We might as well do that now. It's not going to take that long. But let's just replace the batteries. Hey! We replaced the batteries, but it was after we finished coloring. This isn't the one we were working on. Just give you guys a little compare contrast between the first one that we did. We don't have cream or the exact color to do it, so you have to do the best we fit. Now, here's the one that we did. Now I'm going to show you guys the colors that you'll need in order to do Typhlosion. Remember, this is just for our markers, so you could do a better job if you have the appropriate colors. We use this shade of yellow to color on these parts of the flames and his body. These two colors to color on this part of his body. You gotta mix them together to get the best results. Thank you. Red in order to color in his eyes, his tongue, and these part of the flames. And a darker red to color in his mouth. Thank you. These are just optionals for the flames. Just try mixing in your own combinations. See what you like. And that, my friends, is how you draw. Bless you. That, my friends, is how you draw Typhlosion. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and it helped you. Bye-bye.